Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to be talking about Sysstor Duplicator, what it is um, and how to use it. Now Sysstor uh, Duplicator is a standalone USB flash drive or hard drive um, even SD card duplicator so it can duplicate and the way it it's just like a standalone little desktop PC it has a, a cooling fan on the back and the power supply input and uh, you know all the uh, USB ports or micro SD card slots in the front they make three different types of these they make one for SD card or micro SD card they make one for uh, flash drives and they make one for hard drives yeah they can even duplicate hard drives the need for this item is to duplicate multiple copies of a single USB flash drive so if you're a photographer you, you know shoot uh, nature pictures and what have you then you can put like thousands of pictures in one flash drive and then use a duplicator to distribute it and you know this one is a one to seven distributor this one is the host and then you have seven destination but they also make ones that are one to 15 one to 20 30 you name it the more duplication the higher the price so let's get started and see how to use this okay so the first thing we need to do this this is uh, you know basically just uh, out of the box I just got it out of the box and I'm going to be plugging it in so when you plug it in the fan is pretty loud on this very very loud fan it's a little too noisy to be honest so I'm gonna turn it on just give you a brief uh, you know tutorial on how to turn it on what it does and what to do and then we go from there I'm sure you can hear the loud fan playing in the background uh, there's nothing I can do as far as like silencing the fan let me put this facing up so you can see the actual unit okay so right now oh, why is this too hold on let me let me adjust the lighting this is too bright okay so now we have good lighting as you can see it says source is not ready source would be this one the very upper left one is the source all the rest are destinations so if I were to copy this uh, flash drive I would put this in the source like that and then this unit will read the source and I will put my destinations right here and it will copy everything to the destination now it says copy ready device number zero because I have zero devices nothing is nothing is plugged in here so uh, let me plug something in and we go from there so I have uh, five flash drives which I'm going to plug in in the destinations the fan is very loud I apologize this thing has a loud fan you don't have to put them like in order you could put one here skip one if you if you don't have enough uh, flash drives so now as you can see five devices ready these are the five that are destinations this is the source now if I were to copy I would uh, this is where you do the country copy and all the good stuff so if I were to copy I would press enter but here are the other options that you can do if you want to compare compare this to that to make sure each one of these copied successfully and compare it that's the option 
three is copy and compare. First it's going to copy this to all of these and then after the copy is complete it's going to compare to make sure the integrity of the data or data integrity is good on both. Four is a capacity check. It checks the capacity of the devices that are plugged in. Basically if it's an 8 gig flash drive or whatever gig flash drive it is. Now which Whichever option you have chosen, to execute that option, you press enter. To check the capacity, for example, you press enter. Now, it's, it's telling me that six of these, which all of them basically, passed and zero failed, which means all six of these uh, flash drives are indeed eight gigabyte uh, according to the partition that has been created on them. And uh, if they were not 8 gigabyte, it would say like uh, 1 failed, 5 passed. Right now we have 0 failed, 6 passed. If one of them were, uh, you know, altered, you know, there are some softwares that they appear to show the capacity of a flash drive or a, or a, a micro SD card more than what it is, and this will catch that. So it's a great device to catch uh, fake uh, flash drives. Now we go. Uh, capacity check we did that already now number five is utilities in utilities there's a lot of stuff but I'm not gonna go into that right now and number six is setup number one copy if I were to copy I press enter that's loading so right now as you can see this is your source and it's reading from that and these are your destinations that it's recording to. The copy does not matter what, uh, how much data this has because this is copying sector by sector. So if, if, this, is, uh, if this has 10 megs of information or 8 gigabyte of information full, the, the amount of time it will take to copy, it will be the same because the copy is sector by sector. So even if there's blank spots, it will copy the blank spot from here to, to here. The copy process on this will include the entire partition, including master boot record partition or boot partition, should there be any bootable partition on the, on the source. Boot partition means a, a source that's bootable in Windows or Mac. That's a boot partition. So uh, right now, uh, this does not uh, have a boot partition, but if it did, it would have copied the boot, boot partition as well. Oh, by the way, you see one, these went through normally and it's it's going, but see the red light on that one? This one failed to copy. So something is wrong with this flash drive. It failed to copy. That's something that you need to know. That if, it, if the red light came on, this copy is no good and you have to redo it. When the copy is in progress, these buttons will tell you what, what's going on. If you press it once, it tells you reader is 7.681 megabyte. So this is the one the source is 8 gig you know uh, flash drive the second one tell you that how much of this data has been copied 12 percent has been copied and it tells you the speed that this copy is going uh, it's under the progress like 980 960 and what have you this one it sh shows you the bad media if there is bad media and this one tells you percentage wise of uh, of the copy and uh, this one uh, is number four is stop detect number five is stop detect and number six is 12 percent and number seven is 14 percent the stop detect were on uh, four and five because there is nothing in them this is one two three four five six seven they, they didn't label them they should label they should label here source and destination and one two three this way you know what it's talking about you know okay so I'm going to wait for this to finish Okay, so the copy completed and I got green lights on all of them. Now I'm going to show you the other features on this. So I'm going to escape 
and I'm going to go to the next feature. Next feature is compare. Like I said, I don't have uh, source and destination, but you could compare, and that, that's going to take a while, so I'm not going to do that. Copy and compare, I already went through that. Capacity check, we went through that. Utility, this is important. On, on the utility part, I'm going to hit enter. If you want to format this FAT32, you simply hit enter. Are you sure you want to format? Yes or no? Yes, and enter. Right now, this flash drive is being formatted FAT32. And the FAT32 format completed, zero fail, one pass, which is only one unit, it passed. Okay, so that was format. Now we go escape. The other options we have is format e EXFAT. This uh, format is the newest format. The FAT32 is older. Uh, so the EXFAT format, if you want to do, you could hit enter and it will proceed. This one is measure speed. To measure the speed, read and write of this unit. Let's measure the speed. We hit enter. This was detecting zero. It was detecting this one. We have to go to three. One, two, number two. This is one, this is two. So it's doing the speed test. Okay, so read on this is 20 megabytes. Write is 6.4 megabyte in one second. So that's the speed of this flash drive. This is USB uh, 2.0. It's not USB 3 or USB C. So it's a slower flash drive. Okay, now let's escape and see what else we have. We have quick erase. Quick erase will quickly erase everything that you have on this flash drive. But this quick erase is not safe. If your flash drive falls on the hands of hackers, they have special software to actually uh, revive your quick erase files and retrieve your data. So this is not a quick erase is not safe. What are the other options? Full erase. Is full erase safe enough? Well, full erase is safe enough. It will erase everything fully and format it, but still very complex um, agencies, many countries, government agencies and intelligence agencies could still access the file that has been full erased. Three pass DOD erase. This one is very safe. It's it's near impossible to retrieve the data when it has three pass. But even this one is not uh, the strongest level of erase. Now we have seven pass DOD erase. This one is completely foolproof. It's impossible to recover anything with a seven pass DOD erase. Okay, so this is the media format information. Media format information. If you want to see that, you hit enter. And you choose your your unit. This is 0, 1, 2. So this is 2. Let's go to 2. 2. The format is seven, uh, FAT32 uh, and the total capacity is 768. The 16 megabyte, megabyte is the sector banks, which is... All right, so let's see. Go escape media format device model this is just generic I don't think there's model information this is generic but let's see what it says okay so we have to go to three uh, to zero one two to number two yeah generic generic flash drive so that's what it is escape this is system information the system information for the Sistor copier. If you enter, it tells you what it is. So let's hit enter. It tells you 128 megabytes of RAM. It's a firmware version 2.00.31. All the good stuff. And then you could hit here. Uh, ID number and all the other things you could see. You could see, you know, all that. All right. That was number 10. Number 11 is system update. If you want to update the system, so I don't have an update file, but if you wanted to do, you could 
plug in the flash drive with the update file and update it and and we are back to the format utility okay now we go escape and this was the utility menu and all the sub menus of utility now we will go to setup in the setup what do we have head enter we have copy area what are the options if I enter copy area copy area system and files whole media system and files if you choose system and files it will only copy system and files if you choose whole media it will copy every partition in that if this has 10 partitions with different formats it will copy everything so I like this one better okay escape asynchronous mode is to right now when you copy something it happens to all of them at the same time like simultaneously that's a uh, synchronous asynchronous is to be to not to be simultaneous so basically if you want to enable that you can enable that the if the target is smaller this is what you want to choose so the partition will be resized to fit the smaller target if you have a 4 gig hard drive here I mean 8 gig media a flash drive here but you have 4 gig over here so the partition will be but your 8 gig has to have lesser data than 4 gig obviously you cannot have a 4 gig hard drive uh, I mean um, 8 gig flash drive here with let's say 6 gig of data, uh, data and expect it to fit on a 4 gig no you have to have a 8 gig media with let's say 2 gig of information but all your for destination or 4 gig and then this will you have to choose a smaller target if the format is unknown that's what you choose this is to check before a copy now this is a good idea but it's a time it's time consuming uh, this is to set slow out for slower media if sometimes your copy will fail because the write speed on one of the media is slower than the rest uh, although this unit will adjust its spe write speed to the slowest media uh, in the array of all media but uh, it's good to go to slow out if one of your medias are slower speed this is the display mode you could enter and then you have basic display and then you have show timer expert display and basic display so leave it at basic because anything else will be too complex you need to like uh, you know learn startup menu the startup menu uh, how, how many options you want uh, so we leave it at at the original button beep as i'm pressing the buttons it should it is beeping if you don't want to you can hit enter and you know you could change button and warning beep button beep off warning only button and warning beep so that's the one I want button and warning beep number 10 is show results uh, in time but you don't necessarily have to do that if you want to you could have a boot password if you want to so when this unit comes um, it will ask for a password you know setup password you could have a password so that only the setup pages could have a password so uh, no one can change the settings without your knowledge or permission language clear setup to factory default performance you have speed what are options we have balance compatibility speed so I like to have it on speed and we are back to copy area so that was all the things um, you know in this unit and let's go back to copy source not ready and uh, yeah so that's what it is this unit is pretty nice little unit let me turn it off oh my god this 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 fan is loud oh my god see how quiet it is now but uh, yeah the fan is very loud but uh, it's a nice little machine nice little machine if you have uh, um, a lot of copyings to do
now on multiple media, multiple flash drives, multiple SD card, micro SD card, you name it. This is your animal. This is your uh, puppy to purchase for that uh, particular purpose. All right. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.